Ben Horner for MBTV here with Mervyn Turner at the end of what, 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 what one of the best shows I've seen in Norwich and we keep saying it you know like every time it's yeah we keep improving and uh, great great house packed packed to the rafters um, which is nice to see uh, the venue was sold out <clears throat> great what, show yeah what more can you ask what for? more can you ask Norwich fans are the best we'll, um, yeah. we'll go through it like we normally do go yep. through the card uh First out, we had Ryan Frost, debutant. Um, we put down in the first round, but kept his cool, come back, and yeah, you know. And listen, um, anything can happen on your debut. You know, and the good thing is that we keep bringing these kids through. When we set up three years ago, um, yeah, four years ago, <coughs> excuse me, just the flu that's going on. Um, you know, we said we wanted to convey about bringing, we wanted to give people a platform to come on board. And, uh, you know, Ryan Frost, gone to Alan later, uh, typified that, you know, he came in, anything could happen on your debut, he got dropped. Simple as that, you know. Yeah. Picked himself up, shook himself off, got the job done. Move on. Zafin Morris. Um, Zafin. Unfortunately, uh, went six twos. Yep. But... What a fight for him. Um, really shan't show what he's been working on in the gym this time around and really did make a statement, you know. And we keep saying he's living the dream and he really proved it tonight. This is safe and he's loving every single minute of his professional career. Every single second. And uh, he's making the most of what he's got, you know. And yeah, he showed tonight. What, what, what else can you ask of the lads, yeah. you know. Every time you put something in front of him, he does the business, so he's moving on. Where do we see Zafin going, you know? That's it's hard to say. We're, we're gonna, now we're going to push him up. He's done, been doing four rounders, now we're going to push him up to six rounders. Um, and we'll, we'll possibly go on then to, to see what, what we can get him. Next up, um, Joe the Hitman Hearn. Joe the Hitman Hearn. What can you say? Yes. Um, you know, the kid made a mistake he came at joe you know and when you come at joe you know joe's a brawler and when you come at someone like that you better be prepared to back it up uh, unfortunately the kid didn't have the skill to back it up he come in there like a pub brawler joe took him out simple as that end of story that's what joe does not only promote him but training as well prince patel Yep. featuring on your show for the first time unfortunately things didn't go the way we expected on the night but could be a massive learning curve, you know. How how did you analyse it? And yeah, um, didn't go the way we wanted, obviously. Yeah. Um, kid come in, kid broke his hand, you know, um, and <clears throat> we move on. It's as simple as that, you know. It is a learning curve, and uh, it was a bit of a wake up call. The kid is a champion in the making. There's no doubt about that. You know, and he's just got to move on from it. Lick his wounds, he's going to hurt for a little while. You know, we all are. But we lick our wounds, we move on, we put it right, we fight again. Billy Boy Bird. Billy, yeah. Um, afterwards, I said to him, you know, it's almost like we've got the old Billy back. Uh, real aggressive, real... Well, Billy trimmed down, you know, and when Billy trims down and he gets his training right and he listens... He can do anything, you know, and uh, he's now going to have a home show down in, you know, 10 minutes from where he lives. So we'll see, you know, a good reaction to that, I'm sure. The Essex people are going to come out in force for the Essex boys. <clears throat> and, uh, but yeah, Billy was back tonight. He trimmed down, he'd worked hard and uh, again, put on a great entertainment for the crowd. Like you say, conveyor belt for new boxers. Alan yep. Ratib made his debut tonight as well. Yep. Very confident performance. Didn't he look good? Yeah. Um, I've seen him in the gym and he's always looked like he's a boxer, you know. He, he likes to box and he really done well tonight. And the exciting future ahead, you know. Two, he only started boxing, what, two years ago? Two years ago the kid started boxing and what, what progress has he made, you know. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, he's come off the circuit. He's now going into the pro game it properly he's made a great start to his career and you know I think he'll be he'll obviously be a regular visitor on, on our shows I think you know that the crowd really took to him he's got tremendous backing 
and uh, he's going to be another one on the Essex show that's going to really shine. To top off the night, Sam Sexton. Well, made yeah, a statement. Made a statement. Um, <clears throat> you know that man that he was in with. You know, I've got the utmost admiration and respect for that man because Sam absolutely battered him. Yeah. Right. Mm. Absolutely battered him. I think his corner should have thrown the towel in in the third. I think perhaps the referee gave the guy every chance, but maybe he should have stepped in a little sooner. But guy was throwing the odd shot back. But you know, the inevitable happened in the fourth. And uh, yeah, he made a statement. You know, that that that, that man has been in with uh, Derek Chisora. Took uh, just his last fight. Took Derek Chisora five rounds to get him out of there. Sam took him out in four. Should have taken him out in three um, because he was battered. You know. Um, make no mistake about that. You know that that man earned his money tonight, and he got the admiration of the crowd. But Sam, what a mm. fight, Sam! That was a tremendous fight. You know, he boxed him. You know, and he just tore him apart. Um, some of those punches he was putting in there, couldn't miss him with the jab. Couldn't miss him with the uppercut. You know, Sorry. but Sam's a boxer, and Sam's very underrated. You know, and he's still a young man. He's a former Commonwealth champion, but he's still a young man in heavyweight terms. You know, he's just coming into his prime. That performance tonight was fantastic. You know, that was a boxing lesson. Um, and a lot of people had the privilege of seeing that tonight in yeah. small hall boxing. And that's brilliant. Stuff and Sam's a dream of his to go on and win that British title. Yep. Um, there's no reason why not on a performance like that. Sam Sexton's got a British title in him. <clears throat> um, where do you see the opponent coming from and who would you think <laughs> it could be? Um, I don't think I should really speculate on that at the moment. Um, I think Sam's definitely back in the mix. Um, you know, Joshua's got his world title fight. Maybe a little early in my opinion, but he's got his world title fight. Um, so the British is, is back on the market, as they say. Yeah. And uh, Sam's in the mix. It, Listen, the heavyweight division, you don't, you take the top five, they're all busy with world titles in the minute. So heavyweight scene in Great Britain is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Take that top five out, you know, then you've got Sam and, 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 you know, one or two others. And I think it makes for an exciting little domestic battles. And uh, Sam's definitely got a British title in him. To finish up, what's next for Shamrock Boxing? Uh, Shamrock yeah, Shamrock, we move on now to um, Slough in... Uh, 26th of uh, this month and then uh, yeah we've got uh, two more shows lined up and then back here in July brilliant there we go so for the Norwich fans there is other Shamrock boxing shows all over the country you know yep. so get involved and if not July July come back and see us again and uh, possible return of Nathan Dale well I think a definite return for Nathan Dale if we can get him out sooner we will um, since his, his world title fight uh, World Youth Junior Title Fight. He, um, you know, he had that hand injury. Decided to get it done now rather than late in his career. Um, but but Nathan will be back. He's seventeen and zero, and he's going places. That's a kid that's going places. And you want to see him in the gym at the minute. He is absolutely on fire. There Can't wait to have him back. Brilliant. Thanks for your time, Evan. No problem, Ben. Once again, brilliant show, and I'll speak to you again soon. Doing a good job. Cheers. Well Thank you. Thank you.